Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. And today I'm gonna to share with you all the things that we're doing next week when we talk about birds. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. The first thing I'm gonna show you is our science center. So again, I just put bird related items on our science table for the children to discover. So in these containers, I just filled them up with different types of bird seeds for various breeds of birds. So this will be interesting for the children to look at and see the different types of food the birds eat. This last month we had this out when we hatched out our chicks, but on the other side, it actually has an egg of a bluebird coming out. So I wanted to put this out again. And then I added a magnifying glass, a feather, a real nest. I do keep these inside a plastic bag just so that it stays contained inside the bag. I also added this little robin's egg. It was on the ground and empty and the children found it and I decided to put it out on our science table this month. And then I just put a book out here with different pictures of birds and the birds hatching. Some of the art projects that we're going to be doing this month is painting some eggs. These are just styrofoam eggs that I probably picked up years ago at a dollar store. So they're just styrofoam and I usually give the children blue paint, but they can really choose any color they want because eggs come in all different colors. And then we're going to make some nests using paper bags. Basically all you do is you use a paper bag and you fold it up until it gets into the shape of a nest. I like to just give the children different materials like moss or grass or all sorts of different twigs to just glue on their nest, just like a bird does when they build a nest. And so that's a super simple, fun project. And then afterwards they can put their little eggs inside their nests. I also picked up at the Dollar Tree a bunch of these little bird houses. So each of the children are gonna paint up a little bird house. And then when we're finished, I'll add some Mod Podge so that they can put them outside. I'm also gonna let the children paint with feathers. So that's just a fun art manipulative and I thought that would be super fun. And then I'll probably give the children some feathers to stick on their art when they're finished painting. I have an aunt that gives me all her old calendars and I have this beautiful stack full of gorgeous bird pictures. So I'll also give this to the children so that they can practice those scissor skills and make some bird collage art. So some of the activities that we'll be doing this week is using these Backyard Birds tube set along with these pictures. And so basically what the children are gonna do is they're going to identify the match and they're gonna put the backyard bird from the tube over onto the picture of the bird here. So that's a super fun matching activity, but I love using real photographs. I also have a couple of really fun Montessori three-part card sets. If you're not familiar with Montessori, the Montessori three-part cards are basically the picture with the word and then the children will then match the picture and then they'll find the word that matches. So it just gives the children a lot of exposure to environmental print, practicing recognizing the letters along with the picture. And so you give the children a full completed card and then you give them just the pictures and just the words and they need to try to match up the right bird with the right word. So we'll work on those this week. And then we're gonna use the same sort of principle, but this is a math one using nests. I saw this on one of my friend's Instagram accounts and I fell in love. They're just gorgeous photographs of real bird's nests and they're clear pictures with different amounts of eggs in them. And so this works the same way, except with numbers. And so it'll give the children practice counting. Children are attracted to real photographs and I just love to use those in my classroom. I also have this Friends of a Feather board game. It's made by Ravensburger and the children are gonna be collecting feathers for this game and it looks super cute. 
and perfect for a bird theme. And during circle time, we're definitely gonna be singing to little blackbirds. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is a super fun activity that I'm doing for the first time this year. And it's helping the children understand why birds have all different types of beaks. And it's teaching the children that their beaks determine what kind of food they're gonna be able to eat. Let me just show you what I've prepared for next week. So I laminated a picture of all the different types of beaks that the birds have. And then I put together these different trays for the children to be able to do some little science experiments using different types of beaks, which we're using tools that resemble their beak. So for example, this one is going to be about the hummingbird. And so the hummingbird drinks nectar from flowers. And so the hummingbird's beak is kind of like a straw. And so I've prepared little cups with each of the children's names on it. Um, some hummingbird juice and a little flower and each of the children will have their own straw. The next beak that we're going to experiment with is the pelican. So I have a picture here of the pelican eating a fish and we're going to practice using a pelican beak and catch some fish. So I just dyed some water blue and then added some fish for this one. The cardinal has a beak that crushes seeds. It was hard to find a picture, but this one you can see that there's a tiny little seed in its mouth. For this one, I just put some pumpkin seeds in the bowl and I put these little tongs, but you could use pliers for this one or any, anything that you could pick up a seed and then crush with your beak. This is a fun one. It's a robin and a robin looks for worms in the grass. So I just put out some tweezers and a little container filled with soil and a little worm. And these are fishing worms that I picked up in the fishing section. And the last one is a woodpecker. And this is always a really interesting bird for children because they can hear them from far away. And so for this one, I put out some, some tongs because the woodpecker's beak can not only peck, but it also has the type of beak that can snatch bugs, that can snatch bugs from outside of a tree. These are just some fun hands-on ways to teach children about the diet of different birds, as well as the purpose of why different birds have different types of beaks. And so the last thing I wanna share with you today is my favorite bird books. The first one is From Egg to Robin. This is just a beautiful nonfiction book with real photographs of bird life. And so you can see a nest up close, some eggs hatching, and what baby birds look like when they're first born. So I absolutely love this one. This one is called Eggs and Baby Birds. And this one is another great science book that talks about all different types of birds and how they build their nests. And this one has great photographs of all different types of bird eggs. This also shows where birds tend to build their nests. And this one talks about how this nest is made out of mud and twigs and grass and leaves. So this is another really good one. This little National Geographic book is called Fly, Flock, Fly. And it's a great little book about why birds flock together. It shows lots of different pictures of different types of birds all together and Canadian geese in a V. And one of the things I also want to do, and I wasn't able to show you today because I don't have all the materials for it yet, but I want to get a small little fan. I, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree before. I'm probably going to put this in my science center so the children can just experiment with it. I'll put some feathers and some different objects and see what they can figure out on their own, just adding a little fan. But I'm also going to be able to illustrate using a fan why birds fly in the shape of a V. So this is also a really fun nonfiction book. This is a beautiful story about my baby blue jays. It has beautiful photos of birds in their in natural environments. So you can see that he's in a tree and you can see he's outside the window. He's been busy building a nest, laying eggs sitting on the eggs and then 
it walks through the whole process of the baby birds growing feathers. So I love, love this book. My favorite book about the woodpecker is definitely Peck, Peck, Peck by Lucy Cousins. And it's an adorable book about how the woodpecker pecks. This one's a sweet little book about a daddy woodpecker teaching his baby woodpecker how to peck. And by an interesting, unique book because it leaves little holes in the pages when the little woodpecker learns to peck. They peck the door. They peck clothes. And at the end of the book, the bird had practiced pecking so much that he's super dizzy and super tired. This is another really cute one called Birds. This is a little board color book. It talks about all the different types of birds and all their colors. This one's called Feathers. It has different types of birds and it actually has the phonetic sounds of what the bird sounds like. Bluebird's Nest is also another board book. Super cute, walking you through the process of making a nest and the different materials that the bird needs to make it. And as you turn the pages, the nest begins to take shape. And then the last page is a big pop-up. So this is another great one. And this little book was my husband's when he was a little boy. He absolutely loved to look at birds and his grandparents got him this little book of all different types of birds. But I love putting these types of books out for my littles because they really enjoy flipping through the pages and looking at all the different types of birds. So I'm always on the hunt for these types of books for my classroom. And last but not least is The Little Book of Backyard Bird Songs. This is one of my favorite, favorite books of all time. It's a sweet book about different types of birds. Each page describes a different bird and gives the name of the bird and a little description. And what's super fun about it is you can find the bird on the side here and listen to the sound it makes. I don't buy very many toys that have sounds, but when it comes to nature sounds, I absolutely love it. These are definitely sounds that the children hear when they're outside. And just the other day, we were outside having a picnic lunch and we heard a bird that we had never heard before. And without prompting, my children came in trying to figure out which bird we heard. And we all sat in a circle and the children pressed the bird sounds and they kept saying, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. And then when we got to the bird and it turns out that our mystery bird was a cardinal. And it was so fun because all the children all at the same time said, that's the bird. And so it was so amazing to see two and three year olds being able to recognize the different sounds that they heard outside and be able to come in and actually identify it in this book. This is definitely, definitely one of my all time favorite books. I'm super excited for next week and I can't wait to study birds with my littles. I hope you got some fun ideas for your classroom too. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.